Paul, you've, you've told us before that you don't really enjoy the relief of, of a win for very long um, and, and that very quickly you're thinking ahead to the next game, to the next challenge. How long does a defeat stay with you? Mm, quite a long time. I mean, what's the time now? Quarter to 12 on Monday morning. Um, watched the game back yesterday, spoke to all my coaches yesterday at length, spoke to them this morning. We've travelled in together from about half six, so we've talked about nothing else, watched the, all the clips back. Still quite painful, but... Uh, I mean, I'm saying this, obviously, if the lads watch this, it's a disaster, but you try and keep a bit of it away from the lads, but then you, when you uh, comprehensively lose, you have to really show them the ugly bits. So, um, yeah, it's hard. I don't watch any EFL over the weekend. I can't watch anything. I'm a pretty bad loser, but I'm not an amazing winner either. So uh, it does stick with you for a while. Uh, and then, luckily, we've got the game tomorrow night to put it right, and then you're going through the whole, you know, how much do you change? Do you change? There's some bad performances, poor performances, collectively and individually. So it's about trying to get it right for um, another game. But they come thick and fast. And like you know, when you when we do this for Saturday's game, if we were successful Tuesday night, it's an easy. <laughs> the world looks a better place. Uh, if we're unsuccessful again, it looks even darker. So yeah, the results stick with you uh, and performances. And you know, there's certain disappointments from that game that I wouldn't expect our team to do. So you watched it back, I know you always do, a couple yeah. of times. Um, your opinion changed much at all from what you thought immediately afterwards? Uh, no, not a great deal. I thought um, first half we were poor. I thought we made bad decisions. I thought um, we uh, brought pressure onto ourselves. We kept throwing it backwards and making bad decisions, not moving the ball quick enough. And sometimes it's just about game management. I just don't think we managed the game very well. I thought Barnsley's press was really aggressive and you know, I'd expect us you know, as a group, we kept trying to get information on, but as a group to realise that. And sometimes away from home, like you're not there to entertain all the time. You, sometimes you just have to turn them and make them defend. And I, I thought uh, that was first half and that's how it looked watching it back. We did self-induce a lot of problems. Um, and then second half, we were better. Um, but the, you know, we need that second goal, and we had guilt edge chances to get the second goal. We don't take it, and I, you know, on a positive, as poor as we were, we had enough chances in the game to uh, get at least a draw, which is good. But what's disappointing for me is that, yeah, away from home, we um, caused our own problems, which isn't as acceptable. You've got back-to-back -back home games now. Is is that an opportunity for you to start putting another run together? Well, every game is every you know every time you you have a, a bit of bad news, you just got to pick yourself up. That's why the season's forty six or forty nine games or forty eight games long. So, um, but we can't keep relying on our home form to get us where we want to be. We have to pick up points away from home, and regrettably, in the top six, we've uh, struggled away from home. So, um, yeah. So the home form has been very good. However, we play Cheltenham, who were um, you know been travelling a lot, but we'll come here. Um, and make it really difficult for us. They made it difficult for us at, at their place. And um, yeah, well, the lads will have to start well uh, to shake the demons off from the weekend to get anything. So I know how hard the game is. I don't turn up tomorrow thinking, oh, two home games, cr cracking. We've got Shrewsbury at the weekend who are the informed side as well. So we need to um, get back to uh, taking our chances really and, and not causing ourselves our own problems. And we should be okay. But, you know, sometimes football's not like that. One of the things that was said ahead of the season, and we've heard a lot from opposition managers before they come to Derby, is that it is a bit of a cup final for them, the occasion coming to Pride Park, the big crowd, all that sort of thing. Are you getting that sense from, from teams when they, when they come to Derby? Uh, I don't know, really. I think I am, but just subconsciously, because I know when I was a footballer, if I played in front of 5,000 at home and then I played away in front of 30,000, straight away it feels like a different game. It does feel like a cup final, so to speak. But... I think I'm being like disrespectful to the other teams if, if they all think like that. I don't think they all think like that, but certain teams, certain players, I've even seen certain officials turn up, take photos, which I find surreal. But um, So, yeah, I do think that teams come and raise their game, and, and as would I. I don't, I don't blame them for that. You're thinking, look, you've got to have to stay in this game early on because if potentially if Derby get the lead early, in fairness, if Sheffield Wednesday get the lead early, if Ipswich get the lead early, if Plymouth get the lead early. So... It's probably just, you know, uh, as big coming to Derby because of the following we have and how, how good we've been at home. But, um, yeah, I, I do think teams possibly raise their game. But, yeah, I think that's human nature. Squad looking OK, injury-wise? 
Yeah, all good. Uh, got um, Chesy back in today. Uh, it's only Birdie who's only probably going to join in end of the week or next week. So I'll have uh, everybody fit, which is uh, crucial. I mean, obviously, you know, it's well known that we're use the least amount of players in the league this season uh, and that's testament to the you know the physical department keeping them fit um, so we're blessed in that way and it's nice to be able to have a you know virtually a full echelon of players because we're definitely going to need them and this is when it counts the the Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday so yeah we'll have to uh, freshen it up